Hi there, Leos. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl. We're looking at January 16 through the 22nd. And Leos, things remain intense this week with a slugfest between two difficult planets and a change on tap for the sun, both of which take place on the day before Inauguration Day and have something to say about the situation the new president, President Donald Trump, a Gemini, may expect to face. Of course, we're bidding adieu to Leo President Obama this week as well. And I think that it's going to be a very somber occasion for many Americans who are still protesting and still very upset at the outcome of the election. And so it'll be, it's the, the planetary activity is kind of perfect with Mars and Saturn duking it out. Now, Mars is in Pisces your sixth house of hard work, service, and health and well-being, while Saturn is in your romance zone. If you're dating someone and you kind of wish that he or she was a little bit more active, um, maybe was a bit more in better shape, I'm trying to think of the nicest, most politically correct ways of saying it, this is a great time to motivate them. Maybe suggest that you do some things together. You're usually very active and because you're on the vainer side than other signs in that you like to look good, uh, you know, you don't mind, you like to work out. You like, to, you like the results. You might not like working out, but you like the results. So this is a great time for you to egg on your lover to, you know, get fit with you and there's all sorts of ways to get fit and it doesn't have to be the gym it can just be going for a walk it can be going you can be you know pilates or yoga or bike riding you know i'm trying to think of things that aren't necessarily sweaty and a lot of people watching so if that's something that you want to start the sun moves into aquarius later in the week and that is going to give you a very good way of talking to people and being rational and allowing some ideals and possibilities to enter into the mix as well. This is a time when the world really is going through a big flux and a big change. And while you're a fixed sign and don't necessarily enjoy or embrace change, you have to go with the times and roll with the flow. And with the sun moving into Aquarius, and into your relationship zone, hopefully you'll find that by the end of the week, once Mars and Saturn have had their little to-do, you will be feeling a lot more confident and ready to deal with whatever this week brings. Thanks so much for tuning in, Leos. I appreciate it and I'll speak to you soon.